don't link it's your boy Inc. welcome to one of the weirdest video i've ever made one of the video that you should definitely not watch however um i have to play the tower for the tournament tonight no that's not the tournament that's not uh that's not like of the evening uh that's not it i know it's weird but it's not it so um it's the tournament tonight i think I think I have to, it's one of the kind of the videos that I have to say why I'm doing it. I have to explain why. And I have to say who, the, who inspired me because it's a weird video. The subject of the video tonight is um, is a part two to 10 years of fapping. As you guys know, we're the 4th September today. On the 1st September, I did a um, no fap diet um, challenge. The reason for the no fap and the diet is because those are two... Um, Yes, my weight is bothering me, but those are two um, those are two zones of comfort that I get to hide in. So whenever something is going wrong, I use these as a coping mechanism, right? Now, having a coping mechanism is amazing. It's perfection. You want a coping mechanism, right? You want that. When everything goes down, you need a, cap, a, a, quoting, a, a, a coping mechanism. Sorry, four day no fap and I'm on diet, so I'm pretty hungry. Thankfully, I got this. This is my last meal, not meal, but last snack of the day, which is the coffee. There's half left. Um, I got I got till eight o'clock to, to to eat. It is seven twenty. So doing in terms of fasting. So continuing the story. Um, see, that's that zone of comfort. That coping mechanism is good, but there has to be, like for example, right? Um, your your parents are abusive. You got that place, right? to hide that's fantastic I'm talking abusive I'm talking about abusive with the physical emotional um, they're very abusive right so you get a reason to hide now your neighbor have strict parents they're not abusive they're strict because you see you coping mechanism is the same now yours is truly needed but his isn't as needed now why is that a problem why having a coping mechanism that when you don't need it is a problem because you tend to have it so if i was able to say hey you see it with the judge you see it with the courts when people are at, when people are are accused of corruption you say oh, i plead the fifth i plead the fifth and it's kind of like a coward way out i'm not saying having a coping mechanism is a cowardly move however if you're using it for every single instance where you're a bit pushed it's not good because you're not gonna Adver you're not gonna face adversity and adversity it helps you improve see adversity is supposed to be on this planet to make you a better person if you don't face adversity and you hide then that evolution or that betterment of yourself doesn't happen and because the betterment of yourself doesn't happen you're stuck at level one let's take one of the GSP jackass um, expression now um, this is why the reason why we stop fapping and the reason why we stop eating, right? Well, we were eating, we were dining. Now, um, it's funny because I was thinking a lot about corn today. As I said, with the food, I can drink water and I can chew gums. The more I chew gums, the more my, 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 my brain thinks I'm eating, the more I fill up my body with water, the more my, my body's like, okay, yeah, you got water in your system, you're good. Um, but with happening, I can't do shit. And I was thinking a lot about sapping, right? And you guys know I'm Canadian. You guys know I grew up watching Turtle Park Boys, my favorite show. And uh, it reminded me of the time when Jim, I think it's season five, but my, yeah, it's season five for sure, where Jim says he quit uh, drinking, right? But all he does is talk about drinking, talk about how he missed the smell, the taste. And I do miss it. So in the first part of this video, uh, which is another video completely, uh, we did why it was, why I did this for 10 years. But I think it's important to say the history of it, right? Because a zone of comfort isn't just, oh, you had the zone of comfort, that's it. I have to explain why. And the reason why this is a weird video, because I'm going to talk about my experience with corn in itself. My experience with corn. And it's kind of weird because you, this is possibly something you shouldn't hear, um, something you shouldn't talk about. However, um, the sole goal of this video is, like per, part one, there's other people that are going through it. There's other people that are going through the exact same thing as me. We're 7 billion people. We're all unique, but the problems aren't. But maybe someone out there will need to, learn, will need to listen to this. 
Now I know what you're saying. Ink, you're doing it. You're doing a video for a person when there's a thousand person, thousand people that will that like this video. And you're absolutely fucking right. I shouldn't be making this video at all. The reason why I do it is for because of two days ago, we watched a video by Anab I Naber I N A B E B B E R on YouTube, a seven hours video on Nicocado Avocado. It's very niche content. It's very, it's very, it's not for everybody, right? And I don't wanna be that guy that does mainstream content. I wanna be me, bro. So my experience with corn, of course, uh, as corn, my experience with corn is kind of a weird one. My experience with corn was, it begins in high school, um, where, <sighs> okay, so as a kid, you know, my mom, you know, my father, I'm very sheltered, right? I go to a school, but it's a very, um, not initially private school, but it's a school with a good reputation, right? As I told you, if you guys know Lachine, there's a higher Lachine, which is consisting of people that have a higher salary. It's consisting of people that are that are better off. They have, their house, the house is bigger, there's garden, there's everything. And lower Lachine is more apartment. It's more uh, lower salary. It's more, it's less expensive, okay? So I go in and, in a school, and that school is a religious school. It's a religious school. You're not. You're, you're not gonna talk about that, right? I go in high school, and now it's a pop. It's a. Uh, it's a public high school, so that there's people of all walks of life, going. And I had a. I had a. Uh, I, I guess she was a friend. We didn't keep in touch. She's a cool girl though. Beatrice. Beatrice is. Um, a year older than me. She. She. She didn't pass her first high. School, her first year of high school, and um, she's talking about sex. And she's talking about sex with my best friend, which is Dimitri. And uh, she tells him, and then she talks to me and she said, hey, I bet you never jerked off. And in my mind, it's completely insane because I never even heard of that, right? Of course you get boners, you're, you're a human being, right? But jerking off, never heard of it. Now, here's the kind of the crazy part. In showcases, and, and showcase the channel, um, or get yeah, the channel, um, there was three shows that I really enjoyed. Which was Kenny versus Penny, as you guys know. Shut up, our boys, as you guys know. But there's a third one, and that third one explored. That third one explored a uh, <laughs> the world of adult film. Yeah, on on TV, and it wasn't at ten o'clock, so of course I watched this. Right, there were some sexy. My first time tapping was actually to a that show. And my first time, I wasn't I wasn't give the talk about birds and bees. So even after accomplishment, I kept going. So the next day, I come and I'm hurting. I'm hurting like somebody kicked me, right? Which is when you overexercise a muscle, because it is. I don't think it's a muscle though. I don't think I don't think it's a muscle. Fast forward, right? I'm looking forward to this, right? I'm in fast forward three years, three years, because when I'm not saying, okay. I'm not saying is a very crazy thought. My mom has a channel where I was watching corn. My father doesn't. My father has me 12 days out of 14. That show was once every Friday. So out of two weeks, I would can only do it once. So of course, I, I look for something else. Now, of course, the first thing I had to watch was photos. How bad it was. This is just how bad it was. It was dinner time. I was 14. I was always, I was already, when my parents were making dinner, there was no closed door. They had to go down the stairs, but there was no closed door, which is crazy to me. Now we're going to go again uh, to the third um, high school. So I guess you guys would call it grade nine. Um, grade nine, I'm given a MP3, but that MP3 is very special. That MP3 has a picture. You can put picture on it. You can put videos on it. But it's only, I think it was, that was, yo, that was in, um, that was like 2008, 2009. I think the maximum I could put like 30, 32, 36 gigs of data. So I put a lot of picture in it, right? And I would use those picture to, at night to, right? But the problem with those picture were, and I'm a hoarder, you know I'm a hoarder. The problem with those picture was, it, it, it was extremely, extremely weird because I wouldn't, let's, for example, I had like a, 
300 fi pi pictures. I wouldn't use 300, so I would use a couple and I would delete some. But as a hoarder, I would always want to add more than delete. Right? Then, uh, as I told you, I went to a public high school. That picture was stolen. Yeah, with the picture on it. So I'm back to the first round. However, we're now in grade five. And grade five, I get an iPod touch. Yeah, I remember that. Get an iPod touch. However, iPod doesn't allow you to put videos on it. Not even corn. You have to go to iTunes. And yeah, iTunes had a cloud memory even back then. So if you put something, chances are they're going to find it. So what I did was I discovered a website called Literotica. Literotica is a adult website where instead of watching videos or photos, you're watching text. So people try their fantasy, right? And the craziest thing is if you look back at my past as a content creator, in the first six months I was writing. I was writing Erotica on Wattpad. Again, we're seeing the roots of In Vendetta, right? That's why I was writing it, because I enjoy that stuff. And I, I want to say for a solid two years, I was reading. And it was so nice because it's work imagination. It wasn't like, oh, I am not like this actress, or oh, uh, I don't like this scene. It was just like, hey, this is a story. Like, and it's cool because I think, I think it was more fun to read than to watch. Now, of course, I got lazy. I um, ended up being at my mom's house. Now, at my mom's house, I got kicked out. My father did, said, hey, either you find a job or you're, you're out. I said, okay. I said he was bluffing. Didn't get a job. He wasn't bluffing. So um, I took him out to my mom's house. My mom's house, she has Wi-Fi. Turns out, I know only one website, which is Cornhub. And I don't remember if it was Cornhub or Brazzer. I don't remember. But one of those websites. And you can only watch five videos a day. For free, of course, for free. Well, guess what Ink did? You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And I come back to my father's house. My father's house, we also have Wi-Fi. So I do the same thing. And then finally, I move into the apartment. Apartment, I told you I didn't have Wi-Fi. Right? So what I would do, I'm not even joking, I wish I was joking. There was a grocery store nearby that had Wi-Fi, didn't have parental control. So I would go download, I had two phones, I always had two phones. Um, I, on one phone I would download videos, at the time I, was, I wasn't working, I had videos to watch while I'm playing games, because I didn't have Wi-Fi, I didn't have cable, I didn't have anything, right? And um, the other phone, I'm downloading corn. And yeah, that's how I got around. So y you see, in all walks of life, and it's, what am I trying to say? Like, because I'm going into extensive details and nobody gives a shit. I shouldn't share this, but it goes to show all of these points, all this time in my life where I just talked to you guys, all of those events that I mentioned had one thing in common. When I was at my parents' house, I wasn't allowed to. When I was alone, I couldn't. Right? I still broke the rule. I still made sure that I could. Because I'm in my comfort zone. See, the problem with an addict, the problem with an addict isn't is, is he's using drugs. The problem with an addict isn't that he's getting high every single day. The problem with an addict is he cannot go a day without. Here I am. Years of abuse. So when I talk about this need to get out of this comfort zone, that's what I need. That's what I mean. I shouldn't make this video, but fuck it. We're still gonna post it. And there you go. It's Ray with Corn with Ing Vendetta. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being there. Appreciate you guys. Peace.